The American theologian H. Richard Niebuhr once said, Pilgrims are persons in motion, passing through territories not their own, seeking something we might call completion, or perhaps the word clarity will do as well, a goal to which only the Spirit's compass points the way. For some people, it is easy to confuse a pilgrim with a tourist. Both seek out interesting sights and may go on a journey. But a tourist does this to get away from life, while a pilgrim does this to confront life's most important questions. Throughout history, we've seen classic religious pilgrimages to places like Jerusalem and the Holy Lands or Mecca. But the practice of pilgrimage is much older than this. It dates back to the Bible and beyond. In the Bible, Abraham is the prototypical pilgrim who journeys through foreign lands seeking to be obedient to God's call in his life. In the book of Psalms, it takes the reader on a pilgrimage through the ups and the downs of life. The Holy Family was on a pilgrimage when they fled King Herod. We see Jesus set off on a pilgrimage with his parents at age 12, when he ends up in the synagogue. The festival and feast of Pentecost, when the people received the Holy Spirit, was a sacred festival and pilgrimage destination. And Paul cast pilgrimage as a comprehensive model of Christian life. There are dozens of examples of pilgrimage in Scripture, but what they all have in common is that it is an earthly journey that culminates at the pearly gates. Over and over again, we see the same story of someone being lost and then found, being alienated from God and then finding union with God, being sinful and receiving salvation from God. This pathway or journey to God is a pilgrimage. This idea of pilgrimage was even commemorated in the classical 17th century text, Pilgrim's Progress, by John Bunyan, that follows a pilgrim through the journey of life until he reaches the pearly gates. Through this journey, there is exploration, backsliding, friends and family who get left behind, but ultimately, the sojourner reaches the goal of heaven. But reaching the goal is not the point of a pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is unfinished. It embraces the paradox, the unanswered questions about faith, life, and God. We might set out on a pilgrimage to get answers to questions, only to discover that we find some answers but gain even more questions in the process. Have you ever wondered about your faith? Have you ever questioned God? Have you ever wrestled with your identity? You're not alone. Throughout time and history, people of faith have been asking these very same questions. Come explore the questions with other pilgrims as we look to the past for information to inform the present and future of our faith denomination, and life with God. The Baltimore Washington Conference of the United Methodist Church is blessed to be the mother conference for three strands of our denominational heritage, the United Brethren in Christ, the Methodist Episcopal Church, and the Methodist Protestant Church. We invite you to join us on a mini pilgrimage to any one or a combination of our 16 designated sites in all regions of the conference. Please contact us to learn more or to schedule a mini pilgrimage. After all, in the words of theologian H. Richard Niebuhr, pilgrims are poets who create by taking journeys. Come journey with us to learn who we are as the people called Methodist.